Good morning. On the temple. AME Zion Church, what an awesome day the Lord has made. This is a day we will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to first start off by saying happy Pastor Appreciation Day to me, to me. <laughs> happy Pastor Appreciation Day. Thank you for those who have come to share with us, those who are here in our parking lot, those who are watching us by way of social media. We pray that during this day, God might in his miraculous way meet your needs. I'm going to share a few announcements, then I'm going to lead in a prayer. I'll introduce the speaker, then I'll do a prayer. Then the choir will come and sing, and then our speaker will come, and we'll celebrate. So let me share just a few announcements. Today at 2.30, we'll have our class leaders meeting. It will be Zoom today at 2.30. We offer Christian sympathy to the families of Mrs. Lily Johnson and to the family of Mrs. Carolyn Abrams. Carolyn Abrams, of course, lost her niece. She'll be funeralized tomorrow at noon. And Mrs. Johnson passed on yesterday, and her funeral arrangements have not been made. So we'll continue to remember them in our prayers. Also, on this Thursday from 11 to 1 o'clock at the MLK Center is a senior um, Thanksgiving dinner. You can drive by, you can pick up your dinner, and you can take it home with you. That's this Thursday from 11 to 1. You have to RSVP too. So call the office if you need to do that. A late council training is this Thursday. The time will be announced. It's probably about 7 o'clock. On next Saturday, the 20th, the Home Missions Organizational Meeting will be held at Golden Corral. That's 8.30 on next Saturday. On the 27th, the conference workers of the district will have their planning meeting here at Warner, and that's at 10 o'clock. Today, because of our pastor appreciation, the 1015 service will start at 1115. We've, we've called those who normally are on the line, and we'll talk with them today at 1115. Please remember in special prayers, Daryl Miller, he's in the hospital right now. He's having some procedures and something's going on with him, but I talked with Pat this morning. He's doing a lot better, and we'll ask that you'll continue to pray for him. Also, we want to pray for Lloyd's boss lady. She's going to have surgery, three discs removed from her neck. We're going to lift her up in prayer. Continue to let their light shine that the world might see Jesus in them. Our speaker this morning is a friend of mine, my bestest friend, um, the Reverend Dr. Jermaine Armour. Um, oftentimes, if we go to district meetings, conference meetings, any kind of meetings, we always hang together. They call us like fickle and frackle or heckle and jekyll. Um, if you see one, you see the other. What I, what I love about Jermaine is he's true to his commitment to the Lord. He's the pastor of the St. Luke Avery Zion Church, and following the selection from the choir, the voice that you will hear for this special Pastor's Appreciation Sunday morning will be the Reverend Dr. Jermaine Armour, my friend and pastor of the St. Luke AME Zion Church. Let us pray, and then the choir will sing, then the speaker will come. Eternal Father, we say thank you. Thank you for an awesome day that you have made. This is the day that you have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. So now, God, we pray that everything that we say and do will point to you. Everything that we say and do will draw others to a closer relationship with you. Everything that we say and do, God, may somehow or another draw that person who's closest to hell to turn around and come follow you. Now, God, we pray that you'll bless the speaker who will come. May you use him for your glory. Now bless everything that we say and do. May it be pleasing in your sight, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 
Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on. Come on and clap your hands with me. Clap. Clap your hands with me. Hallelujah. 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 What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. Lift your voice and say ha. Hallelujah. Everybody say ha. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord's made. Hallelujah. Everybody say ha. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and say hey. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Warner Temple. We say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm just glad that I made it up those tiny steps that your pastor made me have to go up. I bless the Lord. They're so glad that I made it up them steps um, on today. Um, but it is so good to be with you um, on this pastor's appreciation. I thank God for my friend who is uh, my, my best friend for the invitation. Um, I thank God for what he um, has meant in my life. Um, and I thank God uh, for his wonderful family who has taken me and Tanya, Jade and Elijah in as one of their own. And so it is such an honor to be with you today, uh, Warner Temple. Um, you are not the only one who loves your pastor. St. Luke loves your pastor. Uh, Zion loves your pastor. The whole city loves your pastor. You definitely have um, a great pastor. And if you believe that, could you honk your horn right now? Yeah, that's real good. Praise the name of the Lord. To you, Warner Temple, it's such a joy to be here. Uh, to the first lady of this church, Sister Watrina White uh, Barnett, um, a wonderful sister of mine. Yeah, go, honk your horn for what? Yeah, honk your horn for what? She is such a good friend. Um, she is like a sister. Um, she came over to the house the other day and stole my wife late at night. I don't even know where they went. They went somewhere and came back a little later. I ain't asked no questions, but she's the only one that can come um, and take my wife somewhere. We talk about it later, but she is such a wonderful, wonderful person, and she represents one. We thank God for our presiding elder and everything. He looks good, but we thank God for his leadership as well. And my wife is somewhere around here coming. I told her to tune in, so she'll be speeding up here in a second. If you see some police officers following her, uh, I know a city council member uh, that's a friend of mine that can get her off. So uh, we thank God for the soon-to-be presence of Sister Tanya armor as well i believe she's riding up right now um but there is a word from the lord today um on this pastor's appreciation um i want to come from the 37th psalm verse 23 just one verse for today because clifford and i both um, should have another service after this. I have an 11:30, um, and so we won't keep you long. And plus, the food truck is here, so we ain't gonna keep you long. So we can get to that. Um, 37th Psalm, verse 23, and the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. That's the 37th Psalm, verse 23. I want to talk about signs of a good pastor. Signs of a good pastor on this pastor appreciation. Let us pray, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. And in the balance of this time, in just a short amount of time, 
give everybody in this parking lot a word that will take us from the underground to higher ground. In the words of H. Beecher Hicks, we say amen. Now, signs of a good pastor. Now, this psalm is written by David when he was in his old age, just like Reverend Barnett in his old age, much, much older than I am. But it's also called a psalm of wisdom because like David, your pastor is full of wisdom and insight. David gives all kinds of wisdom in this chapter. He gives wisdom like, don't worry about people who do evil for they shall soon be cut down. He gives wisdom, all kinds of wisdom, wisdom in this chapter, like put your trust in the Lord and he will give you even the desires of your heart. David gives all kinds of wisdom in this chapter, like God not only loves the righteous, but watch this, he laughs at the wicked and that in the end, the upright person will always win. But what caught my attention was verse 23. In verse 23, I want you to watch the text. It says a good man, and it doesn't say a man who does good. It says a good man, but not necessarily a man who does good. See, according to David, good is not based on what you do because we all make mistakes. We all say the wrong things. We all fall short of the glory of God. So good is not based on what you do. It's based on who you are in God. Because no matter what mistakes I make, I'm still a child of God and that's good. When I'm not watching God, but he's always watching me, that's good. Because the Bible says that if his eye is on the sparrow, then I know he watches over me. That's good. The Bible says that when I'm not faithful, he is faithful, and that's good. If I mess up on my job, I can lose my employment. But when I mess up in this Christian walk, I don't lose my favor. I'm still saved by God. For the Bible says that I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, height, death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God because I'm still saved. And that's good. The word good in the Hebrew is a funny word. It is jeber. The word jeber means strong conqueror. See, according to David, what makes a good pastor is not what he oversees, but what he overcomes. It's not about an office he made it to, but it's all the stuff that God brought him through. See, people can look at your screenshots on Facebook and on Instagram and see your smiles and your joy, and they want what you have now, but they don't know the story behind your picture. You don't know what I had to go through to get here, and sometimes I'm just smiling to keep from crying. So I'm not shouting because I won the lottery, and sometimes I'm not shouting because everything is all good, and sometimes I'm not shouting because um, I just got my check or I I just got some good news, but most of the time I'm shouting because when I think about the goodness of Jesus, I wish I had a church in this parking lot, and all he's done for me My soul cries out hallelujah because I'm thinking about all the stuff that he brought me through. And grandma used to say, you don't know my story. You don't know what God has brought me through. But a good pastor understand is not what you see in the picture, but it's what I become in the journey. You got a good pastor. So when you got a good pastor, your pastor knows that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, my God, then where would I be? So I want to tell you for all pastors and especially your pastor, don't judge a pastor whether the sermon is good, but thank God that your pastor does some good. You ought to honk your horn every time that your pastor visits the sick. You ought to be excited that every time he comes to your baby's game. You ought to be excited every time he prays for you at your outpatient surgery. The sign of a good pastor. And just because you called to preach, watch this, that don't mean you called to pastor. I'm not trying to cause no stuff today. But just because you called a preacher, that don't mean that you called a pastor. See, a preacher works it out on Sunday, but a pastor lives it out every single day. Y'all got a good pastor. 
a preacher will preach when the sun is out, but a pastor will preach good that when it's cold outside, he's still preaching. When it's raining outside, he's still preaching. When it's cold outside, he's still preaching. Even inside of his car, he gonna still preach because a preacher preaches because of, but a pastor preaches in spite of. Y'all got y'all a good pastor today. Y'all got a good pastor. When a good pastor, watch this, David says, when you are a good pastor, um, not only do you do good, not only is your pastor good because he knows who he is in Christ, but watch what David says. He says that a good man's steps are ordered. My God, that a good man's steps are ordered. See, according to research, the average person in the United States takes about 4,700 steps per day. But with God, it's not about how many steps you take. With God, it's about what steps you take. And according to God, watch this, your steps have to be ordered. See, I did a little research, Clifford, and I understand that in the Hebrew, the word ordered here means to set up. So that every time that you are taking a step and you are a child of God, every step becomes a setup. And so when you talk about your pastor today, the Reverend Clifford Barnett, everything in his life, because he loves the Lord and he's a good pastor, is a setup. That God was setting him up every step that he took. And that when he was born in Maryland and then had to go to Livingstone College in Salisbury, it was a setup. From Salisbury to Hood Theological Seminary, that was a setup because God ordered his steps. From, from, from Livingstone College and from Hood Theological Seminary, then he went on to Rock Hill, it was a setup. And when he got to Rock Hill, the setup became a come up because he met a young little girl named Watrina White Barnett. And she didn't, the story says that she didn't even want him to pick her up uh, when her father sent him to pick her up. But I'm so glad that even though she didn't want Clifford to pick her up, aren't you glad she got inside that car? Because if she didn't get in the car, we would never have a Clifford Jr. If she didn't get in the car, we would never have a Walter. If she didn't get in the car, we would never have a Helen Bear. Aren't you glad that even though she didn't want to, that she got in the car because God took him from a set up to a come up when he went Watrina because his steps are ordered by the Lord. God kept on setting him up because he went from Rock Hill then to Indianapolis. He went from Indianapolis and then he went to Philly. And then from Philly, he got his doctorate degree. It was a setup because God ordered his steps. And then from Philly, he went to Brighton Rock because God ordered his steps. And when he was at Brighton Rock and did some wonderful things there for at Brighton Rock, God was not through with them yet. Aren't you glad that even though you got some good things that God ain't through with you? Aren't you glad that God still keep on blessing you? Aren't you glad that over and over again, he'll keep on blessing you? Because he is a good man and God ordered his steps and God kept on setting them up. But the setup wasn't over when he got to Brighton Rock. Because when he got to Brighton Rock, God says, I got some more stuff I ordered for you. I got some more stuff I set up for you. And then God sent him to Wilmington, North Carolina. To now he's the pastor of Warner Temple because God ordered his steps. And if you are excited that you got Pastor Barnett as your pastor I need you to honk your horn and thank God for the setup that he gave him God set him up but then God was not finished because even though it was a good setup here, God had more for him. He then organized boards and he then joined the 2000 days and then he picks up kids and watch them going to school over at uh, the school over there. And then that wasn't it because God ordered his steps even more because God says, I don't, oh, I don't want you just to sit in the pulpit, but I ordered your steps to sit on city council. And for the second term, y'all got the honorable Clifford Barnett because God has ordered his steps and you ought to be excited that God ordered his steps because you got a good pastor and whenever you got a good pastor God orders your steps I was on my way to Fayetteville on yesterday at the same time simultaneously we were on our uh, district lineup meeting 
and I was uh, looking at uh, the lineup meeting and listening to it, and the car in front of me was swerving off of, uh, of the road. I saw the car swerving off of the road, and I got a little nervous because I didn't know if the person was asleep or what was going on, but it kept on swerving on to the right side of uh, the curb. And so all of a sudden, God told me to honk my horn. And as I honked my horn, um, the guy got back on the road. As we drove down a little bit further, uh, he and I stopped at the same corner store to get some gas. And when I saw him, he said, hey, he said, you are the one that honked your horn when I was veering off the road. I said, yeah, that was me. He said, I thank you because when you honked your horn, you woke me up and you kept me straight. And you got to understand that you got a good pastor because sometimes your pastor has to say the clarion call and sometimes he has to honk the horn, but he's preaching to keep you straight, that he's loving you to keep you straight. I need you to honk your horn right now and thank God that your pastor is here to keep you straight. And you know you got a good pastor when your pastor only is here. He loves you enough to keep you straight. And so I said, listen, I'm so excited that you kept yourself straight. I, I honked the horn because I did not want you to have an accident. He said, well, thank you, sir, for honking your horn. He said, because when you honk your horn, you made me wake up and I was able to follow the straight line. And I want to tell you that as I leave this pulpit, that y'all got a good pastor. That whether if you don't know what's going on, keep on following the straight line. Keep on standing behind your pastor. Keep on obeying your pastor because your pastor is trying to get you to look at God. And when you have a good pastor, it is able and better to follow your pastor because you have a good man. Not only do you have a good pastor, but your pastor does some good. I know not only do you have a good pastor, but his steps are ordered by the Lord. I know and the Bible says that when a man like that, even when he falls, he shall never be destroyed. In other words, David says the sign of a good pastor is that when he falls, that he can get back up. Because not only has God ordered your steps, but he's also ordered every time that you will get up. The enemy did not consider that you would get up when you fall. But God knows that every time you fall, that you get back up and you have a good pastor because nothing keeps him down. Nothing stops him from moving. So continue to pray for your pastor. Continue to follow your pastor and be excited because y'all got a pastor who has an ordination from God that says his steps are ordered by the Lord. I thank God for your time. I thank God for your love. And I thank you for loving your pastor. All right, one of Temple. Wow. Love y'all. <laughs> Can we give God some praise for the word? Wow. What an awesome job. What an awesome job. And we thank God for the message. We thank God for the messenger. Um, as he was sharing his message, the thing that um, I kept saying over in my mind as he talked about God ordering my steps and ordering our steps, is I kept saying, feet, don't fail me now. Feet, don't fail me now. God, help me to do, you've heard me say it a million times, right? Help me to do what has been assigned my feeble hands to do. And so I challenge you, as he says, I'm honking the horn now. I challenge you to stay on the straight line. I challenge you, if you don't know him, to open your heart to him. I challenge you, if you're outside of the ark of safety, if you've strayed away from the church, strayed away from God, today's a great time to come back because the horn is honking. Today's a great day to come back and say, okay, yeah, I'm going to follow that line. So if by chance you're here, you want to give your life to the Lord, you may come. If you're here, you want to make a, make, become a member of this church, we'd love for you to come. If you're here and you're listening by way of social media, just send us a, a, a message through the chat or send us a message and we'll definitely get back with you. 
If you have any special prayer requests, let us know and we'll pray for you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you because as um, Pastor Jermaine shared my story, my story is like so many others that um, every step, every step that you've allowed us to take, it's been a setup. Mm. Not a setup to cause me to fall, not a setup to cause us to have trauma and stuff, but it was a setup for your glory. And so, God, we pray we'll continue to hear your, hear your orders, that we'll continue to follow your commands. God, we pray for those who are doomed and bound to pray for. We've lifted up those names earlier during the service. We pray for those right now whose hearts are yearning and saying, God, I need, I need to hear your, your voice. I need to follow you more dearly, nearly. I need to follow you more clearly. I need to love you more dearly day by day. God, we thank you for all that you're doing and have done. We ask you now to continue to bless us and keep us in your care. For it's in the mighty mattress and marvelous name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. The choir is going to come and sing. And as they're coming to sing, Mrs. Cahill is going to come and give an announcement and tell us how we're going to um, be dismissed and how we're going to um, celebrate the pastor's appreciation. I mentioned to Miss Evelyn that we've got this side blocked off so that you don't take your gifts with you. That's why I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood that. <laughs> All right. Sing choir. God bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. And you'll do it down there. All right. Time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand, build your hopes on things eternal, hold to God's unchanging hand, hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand, hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand, build your hopes on things eternal, hope to God's unchanging hand. Amen, amen, amen. We thank you. Uh, we thank you, choir. Uh, Ms. Cahan will make her now. Good morning, Warner. Today is Pastor's Appreciation Day. We want to thank our pastor for being such a wonderful pastor this year. <laughs> this is the completion of 12 great years that we've had to put up with him and he's had to put up with us, but it's been good. So we, from the officers and members of Warner Temple Pastor, we say thank you and we look to work forward with you this coming year. Thank All you. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, Ms. Barnett, come oh. please. It's not behind every good, good man is a good woman, but beside every good man is a real good woman. And this is Warner Temple's real good woman. <laughs> Never have I ever seen a pastor's wife so willing to do anything that she's asked to do. So today, Pastor's Appreciation Day, we want to recognize our pastor's wife and say thanks for all that you do behind the scenes. Okay, 
We're going to serve. Okay, not not X-rated. Okay, okay. All right, we're going to serve, uh, and what we're going to do, we've got some servers, and we're going to serve each car. We also have the tent set up, and we'll ask, we have uh, some social distance seating, if you will. And uh, if you will, join the pastor, have a seat. It won't accommodate everybody, but we can get quite a few people in there. And uh, we're going to serve those under the tent, if you'll take your guests. And um, everybody else, we're going to serve cars, and then you can exit this way. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. No, we're going to have. They're going to have to come this way. Okay. Yeah, you ha you'll have to circle around, and um, we're, you're going to exit this way, please. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's, um, let's close in prayer. Again, God, we say thank you for this awesome day that you've given us. We thank you, God, for ordering our steps, because sometimes in ordering our steps, we don't always understand. We don't always see what the end's going to be. But God, because you're such an awesome God, you know the end from the beginning. Now we ask that you will bless the food we're about to receive. Bless the hands that have prepared it. Bless the hands that may serve it to us. May it bring us nourishment so that we can do more for your kingdom. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, and he's able to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God our Father be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. We'll Ser yeah. Servant, servants, would you please, God, get to the truck, please. Thank you.